So let's go over a motion specific way of addressing some restrictions in the anterior cervical spine. We'll start out with the platysma here. And actually, I was first introduced to this when we were doing yoga classes years ago. Got to bring you to you should bring your head back now. So head goes down in flexion. Back. You okay there, Ken? Yes. Back. Down. Take it back. Right back. It's quite a stretch, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Down. Okay, and then I'm actually going to get you to take your head back over here and back. There we go. Right at end range, you feel that quite a bit too, don't yes. you? Yes, I do. Now, this is incredibly important for anyone who's been in a motor vehicle accident and actually has had whiplash because we have to address these structures to bring around the healing process a lot faster. Increase mobility, function, strength, and address possible nerve entrapment syndromes. Good. And let's just get on the other side over here. This back, you okay? Yep. This back. Take it right back here. Oh, that's good. Good. That's a good stretch there. Back again. And as you see, we're not in a hurry here. Take your time. Slow release. Uh, this can be a very painful procedure. If you go too far, or you push too hard. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, I'm just going to get you to turn your head to the side here. Next structure we're going to address is this muscle right here, the sternocleidomastoid. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to rotate actually, okay. just the side here, and we're just going to go across it a bit first on the medial border of that. Now, we get down a little bit farther. Uh, the sternocleidomastoid it first connects. The top is in the mastoid process, but as we move down, the section will go right and across here. Right across the, bo the body here into the um, manubrium of the sternum. And the second section actually deviates out, goes right into the clavicle. Okay, now after we get back here, I'm actually going to go top here again. Bring your head back, and I'm just going to, not pinching hard. Are you okay there? Yes. You're going around the body of it. And it's almost like when we get on some tissue and we do cross friction in an area, but we're going to just sort of Get in there and kind of work it out just a little bit as we come back there. You okay? Yes. It's not too hard, is it? No. Okay, good. Excellent. Back. Now I'm working my way down, so I'm going inferior. But then we get down here, I could also take us and start moving in a superior direction. You okay there? <laughs> yeah. That feels quite different, doesn't it? It sure does. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever we feel the restriction, if we feel a little nodule or an area that is not moving too well, then we can actually get on it and, and just loosen it up and kind of work through the tissue there a bit. And that, that feels a bit strange, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, we'll go right down to the clavicle here and then we'll come over a little bit. And in this area here, excuse me, I'm just going to move this over a little bit, we're going to get on to the scalene muscles. Now, the scalenes are very, very important because we have the brachial plexus that goes through it. So we're going to go just a little bit, turn your head to the side here. We're going to go over and we're going to go lateral to where the sternocleidomastoid connects in. There's the anterior and medial scalene, right down the clavicle in between there. And then we're gently going to bring that up. So we can actually get in this area, pull back, and you can go superior, taking it under, and we can also Go inferior there. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's pretty tight there, isn't it? Yeah. Now, while we're here, I'm going to get you to take your arm, take it out, mm -hmm. and just extend the wrist back and bring your arm right back a little bit here. Now, I'm just going to palpate in here, take it right there. Okay, feel that quite a bit? Yes. Yeah, okay. Turn your head this way. If we're doing a nerve flossing exercise, we may get on this area. Find if there's a restriction here and kind of bring the arm back in that area. You okay? Yeah. And I'm going to get in there. Not feeling that too much? A Just little, a little. Bit. Okay. Little. But if I go here, bring the arm back. What I'd be doing is tensioning the nerve at both ends if I bring the head over here. Bring it over. Feeling that quite a bit though. Yeah. I, I could actually feel the brachial plexus move through the tissue right here and release. So when we're here, we, we're working on the platysma, different ranges going through the sternocleidomastoid, releasing the scalenes. In our classes, we will also show you ways to release 
some of the deeper structures of the neck, but we need to spend enough time on those structures and getting in to different areas and being very cautious of the carotid arteries and other anatomical structures. But this is a great way just to start the process, get in there. Uh, very powerful procedures.